Hello, everybody, and welcome back to what is going to be a Game 7 between the Mighty Ducks and the Golden Knights for Round 1 of the Stanley Cup Playoffs. Now, I don't want to keep bringing it up, but the pattern so far has been that the Golden Knights win and then we win, one for one. So if it continues, then that means we're losing. Yep, yeah, okay. This just in, I have breaking news. The pattern will not continue because Scott Sterling and the Ducks are going to take down the Golden Knights. The unfortunate thing is that we're going to have to do it without our star player, Trevor Zegris, because he is currently injured. So that is super unfortunate, but we can still do this. We did it last game. Other than Trevor being out, our team looks the exact same. Got McTavish, Terry Vitrano as our first line. DeBrus, Strom, Barabanov defensively. Got a really strong top four. We've also got Lacombe and Will. So I'm totally done with that final pair as well. I feel like last time we checked, Gibson was an 86 overall. Now he's 87, which is very odd. Find it weird that he went up in overall, even though he hasn't been playing. And you know what? As this is a game seven, I'm going to play the second and third period. So we're only going to simulate the first and see where that takes us. So hopefully we have a close game after one, but then that gives us two in-game periods to probably screw up. <laughs> so here we go. Let's turn up the simulation speed and see what happens in this first. Right now, it is pretty even, but Cam Fowler gets the Ducks on the board. It is 1-0 Anaheim early on here, and that is a wonderful way to start. Lacombe! Oh my word. Okay, I take it back. We're just gonna do the third period at this point. Um, yeah, no, we are. I swear if the Golden Knights have some kind of miraculous comeback in the second, I will be fuming. At myself for not jumping in. I just saw the 3-0 lead. I was like, you know what? Maybe we do got this. We're really rallying for Trevor. And might as well just move on to the next series. But this is far from over. We do, however, have a nice two-goal cushion heading into the third. We have to remember as well that I have the promise to get a 9-10 save percentage and win this game. Not that I really care about doing the promises. But, you know, if I... Please move. Okay. That would have been an awful way to start. Then immediately cutting the lead down to one. Thankfully, that is not what happened. Just based on that though, Ducks, if you guys want to go get a three goal lead, you won't hear a complaint from me. I'll tell you that for free. They definitely are not going down without a fight though. They're really trying to get something going here. Where is it? Petrangelo. Looks like it might have gotten tipped. March so has it now. My positioning was terrible. And we still did not get scored on. Oh, wow. It's only been three and a half minutes. Shea Theodore gains the zone. Takes a shot right into the chest of Scott Sterling. That will lead to a face-off. Almost feels intentional. I feel like he wanted a draw. However, the draw goes in our favor. And now Pesci headed down the other way. Doesn't get much from it. And just like that, the Golden Knights are coming back on the attack of their own. Ooh, that almost got through. But thankfully, went off of the defender's leg. Another point shot, which I believe was tipped by our own team. Noah! You can't be doing that. <laughs> Up until I just saw him carrying the puck, I totally forgot about my beef with Wild Bill. So, that is still very much alive. And you know what? I feel like it's well-founded. Because he ran me. He also ran one of my defenders in front of me, which is unacceptable. Oh no. Oh yeah! I swear he literally had it on the goal line. How that didn't go in is a mystery to me and most likely a lot of you. I'm gonna try to go back and watch it though. So the initial shot happens. It was low and then he has it. Yeah, look! <laughs> but I think me sliding there Stop. You know what? I think I actually did save that because I used the right stick. And if you kind of watch a stick here, it looks like he tried to kind of shoot it, but I slid across and almost kicked it away. I'm taking credit anyway. Another short side shot. That one was probably missing the net, but had the stats. And we are headed to the power play. I would go fight their goalie, but I don't feel it's necessary right now. We're up by two. And, yeah, we're gonna have the man advantage for the next two minutes if we don't score. So far, so good. Uh, okay, really? And now that I'm doing it. I'm 100% doing it! 
first of all, isn't regular poke check up on the right stick? Because I was only holding up on the left one. And I pressed square. Not sure what happened there. Second of all, they just scored shorthanded. And now it's a one goal game. No, maybe I should have fought their goalie. That's what this is telling me right now. It's like, oh, you're gonna do it. And then you backed out. Should have, uh, should have went with your gut there. The good news is we still have the lead. The bad news is I am five times more nervous than I was a couple minutes ago. Actually, I just need to channel my inner Bennington. I'm not nervous. Okay, let's go and restore that two goal lead. How does that sound everyone? I am being very disciplined right now as well. I did, I, I'm currently still holding the pass button. Didn't do it. Which I'm gonna give myself a pat on the back. Nice try. I don't think it was gonna go in anyway. Leonard was in position, but so far this third period, I'm not really happy with how the team is playing. Honestly, it feels like we're surviving more than we're actually putting up a fight. Okay. Actually, hold on. Surely we don't give up two shorthanded goals. Impossible, right? Way closer than it had any business being, I'll tell you that. Luckily, Scotty got the glove on it. Sent it out, and now the Ducks back on the counterattack. Just try to kill some time here. All right, you guys have been doing it the whole third, just surviving. Instead, you know what? Never mind. They're doing fine. Keep doing you. Great shot. Yes, let's go, DeBrusque. The two-goal lead has been restored, baby. And just like that, the Ducks once again have the insurance marker. He actually took an initial shot that went off the pad right here. And their defense saved the game. But then it came back to Jakey. And he ripped it home. High blocker side. How you doing? Love that for us. So now the question becomes, and yeah, I'm going to be this confident. Will Zegris be back for round number two? Or is he still going to be out? I still have not found out if I can check the injury report or anything like that. So I don't know how long he's gone for. At this stage in the game, I'm just checking every game. You're wide open. Yeah, there you go. Could have had a draw in our zone. Decided I didn't want one. My positioning was not good there either. But I somehow managed to get the mitten on it. Stone's going to get a shot. Saved. 24 seconds remaining and Wild Bill does it again. 18 seconds, come on! Hit their own player. Better than hitting our player. They are probably gonna get one more chance here in the mitten. Sending it out, I don't care. That will do it. The mighty Ducks of Anaheim are advancing to round number two. Fire me vertical. Let's go! That goal from DeBrusque was huge. Because they had a lot of momentum. At least it felt that way. And that was the killer. That would be the dagger. And we are advancing. Who's going to be our opponent? Who will we take down in round number two? We're going to find out very soon. Definitely had a 9-10 save percentage as well. So... Reporter's going to be happy. Again, not that I care. I sound like someone who's trying to cope. Like, I don't, I don't care. <laughs> but it was good, right? Not that I care. Simulate and stop the simulation conversation. Is this going to be the promised one or is this going to be totally different? Unrelated and talking about round number two. Nope, it was about the other one. All right, a 923 save percentage from the first round, you know. I think we had two shutouts as well. Or maybe it was one shutout and then a one goal game. I can't, you know what? Now I need to go check. Oh dear. 
It's the Edmonton Oilers. They finished third in the league. This is going to be a toughie. No, we did have two shutouts. And a game where we only let him one. So a 3-1 win, a 2-0 win, and an 8-0 win. Extremely solid. Please, Trevor? Yes! He's back! All right, that is huge. We get our star player to take on the Edmonton Oilers. So McTavish, Zegras, and Vitrano, and then Barabanov, Terry, DeBrusque. I hope that they aren't starting him too early. Because I see that little medical symbol there. If he gets re-injured, the Oilers just look like their team is still intact. They had McDavid and Dreisaitl, who I believe were 1-2 and two for points. And then I think McDavid also tied for the most goals with 49. Zach Hyman has four abilities. Nugent Hopkins has three. Evander Kane, good player. Yamamoto's not there, but whatever. Dylan Holloway's up to an 85 overall. Darnell Nurse, 87 with four abilities. Yeah, they have a good team. They still got soup in net. No, well, they technically do, but they're starting Stewie. Who has a 908? He's 84 overall. That's their weakness, I guess. Even their defense is sick. They've got 87 Nurse, 85 Bouchard, 85 Pareko, 86 Ekholm, Cody Cece at 82, another 84. What's going on? This is how the playoff tree has shaped up until this point. So we got Colorado and Winnipeg going head to head, and then the Islanders and the Blue Jackets. The Lightning and the Bruins. It was a McDavid Bedard first round, and McDavid definitely got the better in that contest. Here we go. It is round two. Ducks, Oilers. Let's simulate past the first two and hope that we aren't getting completely deleted. That would be nice. Power play for Edmonton, and we kill it off. Now that is impressive. Killing off an Edmonton power play. They do get one, though. From Evander Kane, that gives them a 1-0 lead. On only 5 shots as well, come on now. I'm anticipating a goal as soon as I start the second here. So, let's do it and see if I'm right. Nope, not exactly. We are out shooting them to the max and we can't score. Stewie having the game of his life at the moment. Another power play and we killed it off. Good job. They really brought the shots back. Holy smokes. That was... Pure domination. Thankfully, however, we did survive and only have a one goal deficit for this third. Let's get it done. Win the draw. Let's set the tone. Awesome. boy, Trevor. Noah's in. Oh, okay. Great start. We are flying right now. Let's get it going. Set it up. Petrano. Passes it back. Our defense almost lost it. But Mason's going to win that battle. He sure is. Look at us go. Maybe we didn't get any crazy scoring chances there. But we also just dropped Hyman. And a flying poke check on Connor McDavid. How's that for a start? Yeah, I'm passing it out. Screw it. Go get it. That looks like a bit of a hit from behind there, no? Oh. Oh, wow. All right. That was a good shot. Sent it right between the defense's legs, I think. Oh, no. Maybe it was just between two defenders. Anyway, he rifled that thing. It is what it is. Two-goal lead for the Oilers. Wow. They are buzzing right now. Are they going to get another chance here? Probably. Yamamoto goes in front. Blocker to side. Yeah, I don't know why, but this overall just feels a lot faster paced than our series against the Golden Knights. Did we take one? Oh no, we're headed to the power play. Okay. This could be a momentum changer. Or maybe we'll generate absolutely nothing from it. And the Edmonton Oilers will get the best chance on our power play. Yeah, that was the most pathetic... Man advantage I have ever seen. Well, at least it's only game one. Definitely think we're in one here, though. Because this Oilers squad seems to be unreal. Jake, get off the ice. You are clearly gassed. Your bar is all the way down. Why are you still out there? McDavid is in. Oh, he tries to take a shot, but the defense didn't allow it. He goes in front. Oh. I got stuck on the post. Like, 
first of all, I should have never been that far over to allow that to happen. But it happened. Nice save. All right. At least we're keeping this manageable. 2-0 isn't that bad. Nice try. And we are headed to the power play again, which didn't mean anything last time. Hopefully it means something this time. Also, it looks like they might have hurt DeBrusque. Which is unacceptable, and we must do something. It ended up working out for him, though. And the puck is dumped into the Ducks' zone. So... Alright, well, the league's rigged. Great save, Stewie. Must be nice. I have never seen something that blatant, ever. I can't believe what just happened still. I'm shook to my core at the actions that Jamie Drysdale just partook in. At least the brusque isn't injured. He's still out there. Blocker shave. As you do. Evander Kane thought he had it. He most certainly did not. Good pass. Ing. No. No can do. They're shutting us down. In every way feasible right now. Great job, Hannafin. That could be what we need. Obviously, this game now is kind of out of reach. Thanks, Jamie. But... Now we have maybe some momentum to carry forward into the second game. Huge hit. Nope. Send it out. Please get rid of it. What are you doing? Literally, what are you doing? You had all the time in the world to send it down the ice. And instead, you decided to just skate it, lose it, and they almost kept it in the zone. Stand it on my head here, lads. Those aren't easy to save. He passed it over, and Kane wired it. This game went from a one-goal deficit to four in what seems like the blink of an eye. I mean, I... Yeah, I feel like our team as a whole not playing well at the moment. We're just reacclimating to Zegris in the lineup. That's my excuse. Can we get one, though? I'd prefer not to get shut out. That would be, like, an ultimate momentum boost for their team. Oh, it's one of those games, is it? It sure is. A save on McDavid. Wowzers. You know what? No, I, I'm going to say we did save a lot of shots this game. But we also did let in four goals in this third period. That Drysdale one does not count. That was the most absurd thing I have ever witnessed. In my entire NHL career. This game was close. And then it wasn't. 6 nothing. Yeah, we're not getting a goal here either. They might get another one. Scott! Going to play the puck? Absolutely not. Talk about a beatdown. Not a good way to start a series. At all. Okay, whoa! Cut the camera a little bit sooner, or zoom it out. Just gonna hop right into game two. We once again do not have the home ice advantage. So if we can steal one in Canada, that would be great. Before we go back to the Honda Center, but we'll see what happens here. So far, same story as last game. We are out shooting them drastically in the first period, but hold your horses, because this is probably gonna get real real quick and a goal from holloway but it doesn't matter because mctavish immediately erases that lead 1-1 shots are 20 to 14 at the moment three minutes to go it's looking like it's going to be a 1-1 third period scenario hopefully this does not go like last game we need a bounce back win here and if we do It'll become a best of five. Stewart, are you kidding me? 
What a save! Gets his team fired up as soon as this period starts. That is not what we want. All right, yeah, I got a big save of my own. How about that? Might have just been a little crazy from Hyman. Nothing too scary, but still saved it. McDavid goes back to the point. Ooh, no, I am not getting rid of that one. How do we... We won the draw, and somehow they still ended up getting possession and a point shot right through. Let's chill out, DeBrusque. All right? We get it. You're sick. But how about we get the lead first, and then you can start doing all these windmill things. Go! Go, go, go! Breakaway pass! Oh, so close! He had the backhand. I really thought Skinner was beat. But nope. Managed to kick it aside and keep this game all knotted up at one. I do feel like we're playing a lot better so far here, though. Especially compared to last game. That was awful. Nope. Once again, I forgot about the predicting system. But I would also like to highlight something. I'm pretty sure Evander Kane used a dump in to pass it to himself. Here we go. And whoop. Yep. <laughs> That's pretty funny. But then they get destroyed by Scott. Great passing. Their defense. Well, actually, you know what? There was a wonderful effort from Stewart there as well. That was kind of in vain because the defenseman was there for the pass. But still, it could have gone in. I don't know where this thing is. I don't know where it is. It is out of our zone. Thankfully, maybe we need some fourth line magic. Need a depth goal here. It'd be huge. I don't even know if our fourth line ever plays when we actually jump into the action. But they might. Vitrano... Goes for a pass, but the back-checking Oilers managed to come away with it. Kicked it aside. They really like trying to go five-hole for some reason. The Golden Knights were big fans of the short side shot. The Edmonton Oilers, big fans of five-hole. So, gotta keep that noted. Frankie goes back to Hannafin. Let's set something up here. Nice, I like it. Good shot by Trevor. And again, this game seems a lot more even than game one. Short side shot attempt. Maybe they heard me. They've hacked my comms. Great step up by Nurse. Yeah, like, this is not going to be an easy series at all. I do still think we can win. But it is going to be a challenge. They love that play. Absolutely love it. Our defense left Kane. And he wires one home. Down by one. It was almost 3-1. Kaner loves taking shots. That's the extent of my scouting report up till this point. Their whole team likes to try shooting five hole. And Evander Kane likes to shoot the puck a lot. So if he has it, challenge the shooter a little bit more. If it's someone like Nuge, then maybe kind of cheat to the middle because they seem to like that one-timer pass. Barabanov behind the net. Who was that even supposed... <clears throat> Who was that even supposed to be to? Their shots are ridiculous. Like, I don't know. This just feels so much different than our Golden Knight series in every way. Not great positioning. Did get the blocker on it, though. Dreisaitl wins the battle because it's Leon Dreisaitl. So that checks out. Oh, get rocked, Leon. In the middle it goes. Back to dry. Oh! A huge glove save on McDavid. We have to score now. Can you pull me? We're down by one. There's a minute 20 to go. We have possession in their zone. Why am I still in this crease? No way! That could have done it. It didn't, but it could have. The pressure is unbelievable right now, but Skinner can't be beat. Finally! I am finally on the bench, and I, I can't go to the overhead view, so we are watching from the bench. Forche? 
Another save by Stewie. Trevor gets it. Unfortunately, we lose it. And Evander Kane gets triple teamed. All right. Okay. Trevor. So close. Under 10 to go. Not 10 minutes. I'm talking 10 seconds here. Stuart Skinner passed it out. Man has balls of steel. And we are down 2 0 in this series. It's not good news. 37 shots, Skinner. We gotta run the crease. No, I'm just kidding. Kind of. It is a video game, so I'm not kidding. <laughs> Let's run the crease. Run Stewie over. Actually, I know how we have to start next episode. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. What do you want from me? Oh, you're down by two. How do you win? By winning. Probably. You're down in the series. How do you plan on turning this around? Predictable much? Charm. Let's see what happens. Oh! Bad choice. Now I have to promise. Whatever. Edmonton is running through the playoffs right now. They're six and one, but I think we kept that last one pretty close. Weekly training is not available in the playoffs, I guess. Salary perks. Skill tree genuinely might... Ooh. Never mind. I think I'm going to do angles and breakaway because we have not touched that. Uh, no. I feel like those aren't that important. No. Hmm. We would go up... Ah, uh, this is hard, actually. I'm not doing dialogue. Screw dialogue. Angles and breakaway. Fine. At the moment, Mason is leading the team with 10 points in 9 games. Terry, almost point a game. He has 7. He's played 8. Fortier has been unreal. 6 points. Drysdale... That one goal was the own goal, right? That's all it could possibly be. Trevor has four points in six games. Obviously, he's just coming back from injury, so he'll heat up soon. I hope. Oh, no. Troy Terry's injured now? Things are looking bleak. Well, I don't know. Let's check our lines. See if he is, or if it's just sort of a, a bug. Yeah, he's gone. Unbelievable, man. Here's the tree. Again, it is not over yet, but it is going to be a tough task for the mighty Ducks of Anaheim, especially with Troy Terry gone, but we could rally. Thank you guys for watching. If you could like, subscribe, and hit the bell, that would be heat and would fire the Ducks up to come back in this series. I will see you soon.